closet to give his gifts later on because this is Bose. It's the Soundlink Color Series 1 Bluetooth speaker. It pairs just about everything. It's small, durable, it's portable, it's sleek. It's super simple to use. Extended battery life now of eight hours, so you don't have to recharge it. You take it outside in those warmer months. You keep it inside from room to room. Engineered to develop full sound. That's what Bose is all about. And as I mentioned, it really is super, super simple. This is the one that I have in my own home and have had for many years, and it is so good. Right now, though, we have it at the lowest price we've ever had it. Um, it really is one of the best prices you will ever see. It has a 30-foot range Bluetooth pairing. We're talking about uh, your tablets, your cell phones, things like that. So you can put your phone inside, and you can put the Bluetooth outside, and you've got that room-filling or outdoor-filling sound. Any door or any room? Any place. Brett Hamilton's here with us. He is one yeah. of our chief electronics correspondents. <laughs> he brings us Bose. He's our Bose guy. We could call him that as well. Sure. Or just as it says oh, at the bottom of the screen. T. Electronics T. expert. All right. Two colors to choose from, red and black. Yep. Again, perfect for gift giving. $69.96 is our big deal. That will go away when the big deal does expire and you would pay easily $85 or more, which is the QVC price. So now is the time to get it. Four easy payments of $17.49. Free shipping and handling. And I must warn you because quite a few of these have already been picked up. There's no advanced order. So once these are gone, that's absolutely it. We're not gonna get any more of these back in stock. Let's start with Bose. Let's start with bows, but let's start with something that we normally don't do here, and that's shutting up. <gasps> I know, I know it's going to be tough for it's both hard, of us. It's hard for me. And let's listen. Good night. Can you get a Grammy for that song? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Uh, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. But I, I mean, so. the sound is so good. Bose, uh, they are the people of the, the football games. They are the people of the Sistine Chapel and the really high-end cars and all of the amphitheaters. And NASA. NASA. I mean, goodness, if our, our, our fellows in space <laughs> are trusting Bose. You know, the fellows in space. <laughs> That was Shouldn't a band do. in the 70s, wasn't it? <laughs> Fellows in Space. <laughs> Their first album music. was awesome, but it was awful because after that, they sold out. Did really? That yeah, was it, just yeah. the follow up album was All terrible. pop after that. <laughs> um, Bose is not usually under $100. No. Anything Bose is never under $100. $150, at $69.96 for a Bose speaker that will last and last and last. You can take places that sleek and portable, all of that. This is kind of a, I'm not really sure I need this. Yes, you do, because it's at this price right now, and we have it. But no advanced order, free shipping and handling, and for easy payments. Let me tell you how to order. 1-800-500-7590. That's our dedicated line for QVC2, especially when we're live. 1-800-500-7590. The reason I want you to call that number as opposed to any other way you've ever ordered from QVC is because that is the line that gets you through directly to get this product right now. We have three networks. It can get confusing. Your order operator might be like, hey, do you want the shoes? Do you want the bra? Do you want the bows? Um, don't get the bows. So 1-800-500-7590 is the way to order. Red or black, and might I add, Picking up multiples of these is not a bad idea because you can give these for graduation gifts, Father's Day gifts, Mother's Day gifts. Forget the Easter basket, give them a bows. Give them a bows. Put the bows in the basket. Put the bows. The way the, the bunny wanted it. In the basket. <laughs> bark, bark, thanks, Easter bunny. <laughs> Remember that M&M's commercial or whatever it was? Doesn't add yeah. pounds. It's not peeps. <laughs> no, it's not oh. a peep, but uh, it's magically delicious for sure. And, uh, and to Kirsten's point, where? Where are you going to put this? Anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. Put it on the bedside table to start your day with a little music, and then wander. Leave the phone where it is. That's where the music's coming from. Calm and audible. Ooh, I'm getting up. And then you can take it with you to the kitchen and set it down while you're playing your, uh, or while you're making breakfast. That's the kitchen for argument's sake. And then back here. It's a sad kitchen. Yeah, it is a sad There's kitchen. No it's just, food in that just kitchen. Just a microwave and a hot plate. And then you can put it back here, which could be the living room, the dining room. This could be outdoors. This could be by the pool, by the pond, back deck. It doesn't really matter, 30 feet-ish. Maybe a little more, a little bit less, depending on what's in the way. But what's the best part about this? No wires. No wires at all. You're like, well, then why is there a wire on here? 
This wire is to charge it for the eight hour battery life, but you don't have to uh, unplug it to use it, so it means you can plug it in, leave it someplace. What is so funny about not doing nothing? And you leave That's it plugged great. in all the time. You if you can. wanted to. Yeah, you can. And then, then it's up to you. The, the, the biggest challenge I find when I present this stuff to you guys is, uh, what are you gonna listen to? Not how does it work, or where am I gonna put it, or any of that good stuff. What are you gonna listen to? What if, uh, okay, well, let's start with this. Skid Row, probably. Yeah, Skid Row for Na sure. Name, yes, name a song from Skid Row. I I'll give you a bottle of wine. No idea. Can stuff. I still have the bottle of uh, wine? I, I remember you. That was There were the two power ballads there. But um, if you're on the desert oh, island. That's right. If I'm if, on the desert island. If you're on the desert island and you could only bring five albums with you. Oh, okay, five. Oof, good. I was give getting nervous. Give me one album. Give me an album, not a song, not an artist. Yeah. So growing up, from the time yes. you started listening to music yeah. to now, mm -hmm. give me an album that you couldn't live Dave without. Dave Matthews, Under the Table and Dreaming. Under the Table and Dreaming. The best album ever. Every song. Perfection. You're a big Dave fan. I'm a big Dave fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told you I interviewed him a bunch of times. I know, you did. You yeah, have like this. Tight. You have like, yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm one level of separation away from Dave Matthews. Well, like I told my friend, uh, who I used to work with on the radio, when I go, she can have the guitar. <laughs> You can have the gold record. Thank I'll put you. it in the will. I appreciate it. But you better put it in that will. And don't try to kill I me. I want to see it notarized. Just to get that. No, I just said it on live TV for millions of people to watch. <laughs> Believe me, when that day comes, you'll, you'll, you'll be knocking on the door and Meg's like crying still. She's like, he's gone. You're like, I'm but can really I have sad the about that. But excuse me. Where's the you? record? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What's your favorite? Number uh, one. Oh, because you know, a little back, back. I should have introduced him this way. Brett Hamilton, Chief Electronics Correspondent and former DJ. Yeah, I'm a so nerd. this guy knows more about music than all of us watching combined. Really? But, but here's the great part. You don't need to know anything about music to use this. You don't need to know anything about music to appreciate this right. because we all listen to something, right? When you get up in the morning or you go to sleep at night or company during the day if you're home by yourself, in the car, I cannot drive anywhere. And I think sometimes it might irritate Meg a little bit. She'd probably prefer to just have a conversation. And you can still have a conversation wait, with wait, the car radio. Wait, 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 wait. Your I, wife wants to talk to you? I know. I, I find that hard to believe because nobody else does. But for some reason, she signed up. No, I love having music on all the time Me because too. it's not a distraction, but it is. What and do you I mean by that? What's great is to turn off the TV and just play music. Yeah. Well, we have speakers all over the house. We finally moved into a single home. I was in a townhouse for as long as I can remember. And I was always very conscious of if I turn that up too loud, you know, am I going to bug somebody? Now it's like, I don't care. <laughs> so I come home, <laughs> and the only two people that are going to complain, well, Cat. Aside from my wife or my two cats, mm -hmm. and they don't tend to mind. No, they slip through anything, and they'll they'll rock out. They're big Dave fans as well. Go, are they? Yeah. You know, music really is a soundtrack to our life. There, we it it invokes so many memories. You hear a song, and you're like, oh, it takes you back to that moment, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, I was just in the uh, hallway earlier, and Rusted Root came on, um, "Send Me on My Way." That's a great song. And I was like, oh, that is the song that after I got married. Okay. As we were walking away, we said I do, and we're walking away. They played Semi on My Way. But that is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier with Dan and last night with Rick. There are certain songs that, for whatever reason, trigger a memory. Now, that's, a, yeah. and that's an important occasion. It right? was. You're going to remember that because it's your wedding day, and it could have been the song you danced to. It could have. But sometimes, for me, there are certain songs that, when I hear them, remind me of like bizarre events. Like, hey, you know, my dad and I were uh, throwing a baseball in the backyard, and I was, you know, 12 years old. Now, why that day throwing the ball all, over all the other days? But you heard a song like uh, you probably don't remember the song called Magic from Pilot. It came out in the 70s. Um, I wasn't quite born. Yeah, you weren't quite born. But, and I was tiny. I mean, I was tiny, <laughs> but I remember that song because we were hearing it in Ocean City, Maryland on a family vacation. So every time I hear that song, it takes you back. It, it, it triggers a memory and it, maybe it's only for a few seconds. But there's that that arsenal of music that I have up here and the memories that are associated with it. So is that is Bose responsible for that? No, but Bose is responsible for letting us hear the music. The way, the way it's supposed this, to be. Exactly. That's the, the, the thing. The there's a recorded. lot of speakers out yeah. there, but they just aren't giving you that experience. Like you're back there at the stadium listening to it. Like you're in the car with that really good sound system the first time you heard it. Like the band's playing it. That's what Bose does. It really does give you the experience again. And for a fraction of the price, right now this should be well over $100. At $69.96, it is a remarkable value. And to be able to gift this to somebody or give it to yourself 
really is a wonderful thing, but it's not going to be around forever. There is no advanced order on this. This is a QVC2 big deal. It will expire. It's on four easy payments today on your major credit card. It's on free shipping and handling. And the best way to order is 1-800-500-7590. one 800 500 Two colors to choose from, red and black. I think I heard black was very popular. Don't wait there, but red is not long for this world. That one will sell out first, most likely. If you want that one, go quickly. Uh, eight hour battery life on this. I will tell you, I own this exact unit and I have for a couple of years and I've always bose things. And our biggest place for this is outside by the pool, spring and summer. It's constantly outside charging, outside, I mean, nonstop. But you don't have to worry about when you, you know, it used to be when you bought something that was audio related and bigger than a shoebox. You put it someplace, you had to plug it in, right. you had to wire it, and that's where it was gonna live forever. And a pool's a perfect example. I don't have a pool like, like here's the You can always place. come over to mine. But sometimes when we put the kitty pool out, no, I'm kidding. But either way, you had to you had to put it in that spot and it was fixed there. It was gonna be there forever, right? Now, it could be by the pool in the summertime. It could be inside for, for taco night, the taco extravaganza. Love tacos. Who doesn't? It could be outside and you could have tacos outside too. Outside tacos I mean, are you don't, better. Tacos are fine anywhere. It's never a bad day for tacos. Never. Especially shrimp taco. It's a t-shirt. Never a bad day for a taco. I am addicted to tacos. I am I too. It, I don't know what it is. About Every my... night I could have tacos. Yep. That There's got to be a song tacos. about tacos. We should I'm write sure. a taco song. I'm sure there are There's taco songs. There's plenty of songs about yep. tacos. But, but I guess the point in all this is that the flexibility of being able to listen to music anywhere you want. But check this out. And I was bringing this up with Dan earlier. When we, meaning Dan and I were younger, because Kirsten always makes it a point to talk about how you know she wasn't born during that and she's you know all younger and blah blah. But well, you blah. know him and I have the same birthday. I didn't know that. Just like Different forty either. years apart. Forty years. No, not forty, 40 years. years apart. But. That's right, Kristen. As he calls you. <laughs> but my long drawn out point in all this is that in the seventies, in the eighties, even in the early nineties. You can only listen to the music that you own, so to speak, right? You had this collection of, was it vinyl, was it CDs, was it cassettes? Cassette singles. Oh, what a waste of money. Seriously, <laughs> waste of money. Yeah, $3 for that song. But you'd listen to what you listened to, and that was it. It wasn't like you could go, God, I really wish I could listen to the first Boston album right now, but I don't own it. Guess what? It's in here. And if it's not in your phone, it's on YouTube or it's on one of the music services. So now you've got millions and millions and millions and millions, without exaggeration, Almost every song that was ever recorded is accessible through a phone. Or, or a Pandora, tablet, or, or Spotify, or any of those things. Yep. If you're wondering how this works, it is super, super simple. It's Bluetooth on your tablet or on your uh, phone. And basically any device that was created in the last, I don't know, eight years or I would say probably even more Bluetooth, than that. But even more safe. than that. Yeah, to be safe. But um, and it is a super, super simple situation that allows you to get the music off of that device onto the speaker. Super, super simple situation. <laughs> Here's how it works. Here's your phone and it doesn't matter who makes your phone. You're going to go into the settings and you're going to find Bluetooth. In fact, let's go back. There are the settings. There's Bluetooth. OK, once you get into Bluetooth, turn it on. And then you see I have a bunch of different Bose stuff hooked up. Watch how smart this speaker is. I'm going to power it on and watch what happens where it says Bose C, that top one for Bose sound link color. Hit the power button. Connected to direct iPhone. It talks to you and it automatically connects. Now the very first time, full disclosure, you had to hit that little button right there, Connected the Bluetooth button. It'll blink white and Bose will light up on your phone. All you have to do is accept it. Now I turned it off so it's not connected anymore. Now, what do you do the next time? You turn it on, you turn it off, you turn it on, you turn it off. It remembers your phone or your tablet or your computer or whatever it might be. And that's it. That's all you have to do to listen to whatever you want to listen to from whatever you want to listen to. And by the way, if you don't have a wireless device, maybe you've still got an older, uh, I don't know, DVD player, right? And the audio is horrible and a little portable DVD player. Right back here, turn this off for a second. There's a little tiny port. That's the auxiliary port. And that corresponds to this, which is the auxiliary button. So Bluetooth for wireless or auxiliary for hardwired. So pretty much any device you have, even if you've got an older CD player, or for those of you that have a headphone port on your television, and chances are on the smaller TVs, they sound worse than even the big TVs right now. You can plug this in and transform your TV so that it sounds as good as it looks. Because the TVs look great, but there's no place for the audio in a television. Televisions are this thin now. Where are you going to put speakers? Where are you going to put a sound system 
in the thickness of a phone. Nowhere. So this is, comes to the rescue. You know what's funny? Is I have this. I think I'm going to buy it again. Because, just because one? it's so good. I use the one that I have so much. I'm afraid, though, oh, my goodness, what if that thing is, what if that ever dies? What would I do? And it's 